All right, all right, Let's all right. Shake a leg. We are going to reapply buffs. Rely on me. I am yours to command. Okay, we're fine there. A bright future awaits. Actually, you awaits. still have that. Yeah, well, heaven is still there. Where do you want me? Something wrong. You are my favorite aid. Ugh, the waiting's never. So many thoughts. Only you so deserve my feelings. I'm here. Where else would I be? <sighs> Don't mind me. My biased opinion? Smile. The world's not ending just yet. Twelve seconds. Yeah, we're gonna reapply those. Too, right? Yeah. I don't know. She could have death spells. I'm always open to ideas. My tail is restless. I crave your commands. wrong you need no Okay. Let's do this, boys! Upon entering the chamber where the vanquished Warstone resides, the Crusader couldn't have expected anything in ambush, a deadly spell, or a horde of enemies, but not an empty hall, still and silent, with no Minago or her henchmen, only the obelisk and glimmers of light dancing on the dirty floor. But then again, all it's not as placid as it seems, Silver once again hears the seething choir. This time, the voices sound louder, more incessant, one step and another. And suddenly, Silver sees the word stone, not as it was a moment ago, but somehow completely different. It is no monolith emanating light. It is a cage made of pure energy. The place where the Skari struck looks like a festering wound, from which tendril of dirty red and purple darkness creep through the entire artifact. And there, inside, two hosts of flaming warriors are locked in battle. One is light, the other is blood red. But what are they waiting for? What are they all waiting for? What? Uh, red warrior's word. Hmm. The red warriors speak of pain and lies, disillusionment. Their words reveal the truth of the Warder Stone. The barrier surrounding the world wound is built on the bondage and suffering of countless angels. Every injury dealt to the Warder Stone, these angels experience as physical agony. The pain is driving them insane. Deceived by the hollow platitudes of duty and service, they suffer torment day after day for the sake of ungrateful mortals who do not even know their names. Enough! The Red Warriors know their blades. Know that their blades now turn against their former brethren, hastens the triumph of Daskari and his servants. Once the Wardstone has been wholly conquered by corruption, 
it will become a deadly weapon under the demon's control. Some of the obelisk prisoners beg for freedom, others pray only for death. They all agree that this existence is undurable. The crystal chisels discovered in the ruins of Canabres is the perfect weapon for a massacre. It cannot force open the door for those who wish to escape, but it can destroy the war stone along with all its prisoners, willing and unwilling. None shall be able to claim victory, but all will be gifted a merciful death and will end their suffering once and for all. The eyes of Eon, until now slumbering peacefully, in the heroine's soul awaken, they urge the heroine to look upon the worst stone through them. The Eon Eye wishes to see. Require Eon Mithbet. Look on the angel with the Eon Eyes. The eyes of the Eon pierce through the essence, matter, and time, and reveal truth of the word stone. The stone are just as much a, pers a pers perversion of the world wound itself. The demon are not of this plane, but this did, did, uh, this did not give Ayamade and her herald license to disrupt the balance still further by imprisoning untold number of angels in stone. A crime committed in the name of good does not offset those committed in the name of evil. It only multiplies and harm done through the cosmic order. Hearken unto the Light Warrior's word. The Light Warriors speak of duty, service, and sacrifice made. The word reveals the truth of the word stone. Each one contained the host of angels, volunteers from heaven, who committed to this indefinite imprisonment in order to guard mortal kind from the demonic threat. They make no complaint. They ask no easing of their burdens. If the goddess and her hero offer them the same choice again, they would consider the ultimate honor to sacrifice their freedom for the cause. The angel know Desgari's to evil plan. When the last of the light warrior falls, the war storm will become a deadly explosive that will destroy everything around it, and the other obelisks in the chain will meet the same fate. The light warriors pray for help. They plead for someone to strike down their fallen brethren. Those who succumb to the demonic corruption are already beyond salvation, but if they are stopped, it will allow the war stone to heal and the light host continues its duty. The crystal sh chisel discovered in the ruins of Canabres is the ideal weapon for this task, but it will cut down the corruption along with those who have succumbed to it and restore the War Stone's full power. Oh! Oh damn! There it is. The fate of two angelic hosts, faithful and fallen. The fate of Canabres, perhaps all, even all Mendev, now rest in the heroine's hands. How will, how will she proceed? Whatever this crystal chisel may be, its power is great indeed. It can destroy the stone along with all inhabitants, or it can mend it by killing the angel defectors within. What it cannot do, alas, is free those who wish to escape and keep the stone intact for those who wish to remain. The Aeon eyes perceive a solution to the goddess tinkering, one that will cost no lives. One strike put the crystal chisel at the perfect point and the stone's magic will be destroyed and all angels will go to the rightful place, to heaven, or to the plains of chaos and evil. The remnant of the Eon's power draw all that is left in the Eon's existence but the, to the heroine, urging her to put this right. But somewhere deep within the heroine's soul, the familiar ire sees endless rage, unbridled hatred. What will happen if it is unleashed here at the stone? Well, obviously, it wouldn't go evil. Hello? So, we can destroy the stone with all the angels inside and not follow any mythic path. Or we can go good and quell the anger of the red warriors by offering them peace. Uh, we can go with lawful, which is also the angel mythic path. Cleanse the war stone, destroying the fallen celestials. Lawful, wield the stone magic and return celestial to the rightful plane as the Eon would have wanted. Huh. And unleash the demonic fury. This stone, these angels, one side boast of their own piety, the other whimper for their lost freedom. This mug goddess and her golden winged herald who trapped them here, all this provokes only one thing in the heroine. Rage. She beats her fist against the hard surface over and over, paying no heed to the pain or her blood trickling over the stone. One strike, then another, and the stone cracks 
like an egg. With a blinding flash, the stone splinters and turns to dust, hurling screaming celestials in every direction. They will be free, whether they like it or not. The Crusaders succeeded, the angels' battle within the word stone has ended, and the threat to the entire chain of stone has been eliminated. Of course, this has won no guarantees of safety for the future. What happened here can happen again. The Mendevians can no longer rely on Iamade's gift as once they as they once did. But the danger has passed for now. Particles of Eon's power preserved in the Heron's soul dissipates. The servant of universal order has done everything within their power. Even dead, the Eon continue to carry out their mission. Now the Eon can retreat into oblivion with a clear conscience. Henceforth, the doing of mortals are no longer the Eon's concern, no longer their responsibility. Damn! Rejoicing like children. The storm is coming and none of them sees it. Shall we add to their festivities, my lady? How about a little lightning to burn their flesh? Oh no, Suture. We'll leave such frolics to Discari's little gnats. We are here for something else. Something I have greatly anticipated for a long, long time. Oh, damn! Blisteringly vivid memory releases you, and you return from the depth of the past to the present. You feel unsaid. Hmm. Okay. You feel a fresh breeze on your face. The energy expelled from the Warstone has blown the roof off the Great Garrison. The Warstone energy suffuses you, and through you flows into your allies. What are you doing here? How? Ah, oh, I see. Tricks from your pathetic goddess. <laughs> so even Iomade will resort to dirty tricks when you have her cornered. Don't celebrate yet, mortal. There's no one to hide you from me now. Look, you're already wounded. Pathetic mortal. I'll have no trouble finishing you off now. You'll die anyway. Hmm. The demoness looked familiar with her entourage around her, but her set ring hollow to you now. You look at her and feel like a titan looking at an ant. Overwhelming, all-conquering power fills you. What, that little demoness? Those irritating hordes from the abyss? The gods themselves are your only equals now. Hmm. I will drag your eyeless hide the length and breadth of Canabras. I've never wondered if demons feel pain the same way mortals do. This would be an occasion to find out. 
I shall be delighted to observe this execution. Trying to be brave, are we? <laughs> That's nice. But never dish out threats if you can't make good on them. Your goddess sent you to die. You think that's a victory? All you've done is postpone the deaths of all the other mortals. And not even for very long. But your wait for death is over. You won't see what I'm going to do to your little friends, because I'm going to kill you right now! Let's have some fun! Fun it is! Oh damn, we got all of our abilities back. Shit. So good. This music is so good. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! Wait, did it just explode something behind her? The hell was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It hit everything in the nearby area! Oh my god! That's amazing! Oh my god. Oh no, I stunned my own dude. Whoops. It's okay though. Wait. Six attacks? Wenduag! You freaking boss! Kill that one. Okay, every attack gets harder and harder to hit with. That makes a lot more sense. That is more balance. Yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ. Seventy one damage. Oh, my God, Mythic Power. That's why I'm doing so much damage. How are you 
doing that? Where is your power coming from? Oh, what was it you said? One of the sweetest spoils of war is gloating over your broken and humiliated enemy. Oh, yes. You were so right. <laughs> I love you, Wenduak. She's so good at being evil. Panago, to me! Staunton, my darling. I knew you'd come back for me. Shut it! Get over here now. Get behind me. If you want to finish her off, you'll have to step over my dead body first. Killing me won't be a challenge, I know. But I can last long enough to give her time to escape. The Crusaders were right. You're a traitor, and you're always a traitor. Maybe you're right, but you won't change your mind either way. So why waste my time trying to convince you? No matter what he does, no matter what he says, Staunton Vane will always be considered a traitor. Well then, Staunton Vane will finally be the traitor you've always wanted! Enough talking! Monago, cast your spells and get out of here! I'll hold her off. Quickly, before I change my mind! No, my sweet, I won't abandon you. We'll leave this place together, and we'll go where we can be happy. Go! Let me finally... God damn it all! Let's go! Of course. The demon and the traitor vanishes in a magical haze. You feel the energy thrumming through your body, and your soul starts to fade. It doesn't leave you, it hides somewhere deep down, leaving behind a small amount of incredible energy, as well as an understanding that you will one day master that unconceivably huge power. You have gained your first mythic rank as a mythic hero. Starts a whole new track of development independent from your class level. Every time your mythic rank increases, you and your companions will gain new mythic abilities or mythic feats. Your mythic rank will increase as the game's story progresses. Sweet. You're telling me, after that awesome fight, I get to not only loot things, but level up? You know me too well, game. You know me too well. Oh no. I haven't unlocked any of the other ones. Yeah. I I can't pick these. Hmm. Oh, man. Hmm. So, is everyone the same? You need to choose which mythic pack to follow now. This choice will greatly affect the following events. Following events, however, no matter what your reason for choosing one path over the other, uh, the best power are as uh, be it power or aesthetic preferences, 
Remember, there's no wrong choice. What is this? You have learned a way of increased number of spells you can uh, cast per day. Nope. Smite evil. You learn increase the number of uses of smite ability. Nope. Your attacks are now less affected by luck. You don't automatically miss when you roll on a one. Oh damn, that's pretty good. Uh, you're a master uh, mage armor spell. Whenever you cast mage armor yourself, give an additional armor bonus equal to your mythic rank. That's pretty good. You master certain elements. Uh, choose an element. The damage of that type can no longer be prevented, reduced, or by uh, by resistances or immunities. Incredible. Uh, Ascendant summons. The creature you summon gain a piece of your mythic power. You summon by you gain bonuses to his strength and all of his ability by half your mythic rank plus one. Their attacks now ignore damage reduction. You're able to channel your mythic powers into invigorating and coordinating your allies. As standard action, you can enter a state of battle meditation. While in this state, you are unable to move, lose your dexterity bonus to AC, and count as being staggered. All enemies within 30 feet gain a morale bonus to attack. Our allies gain morale bonus to attack saving throw of fear for equal to you. 1 plus your... 1 plus 3... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. 1 plus 1 per 3 mystic ranks. Your master of hideous laughter spell. When you when a creature saving throw against your hideous laughter, another random enemy within thirty feet will also make a save. Okay, cool. Your healing no longer affect by common limitations. When you cast a cure wound spell or another healing spell, it becomes reach as though you're using a reach spell effect. Also, amount hit points now restores depend entirely on your caster level and disregard any limit for your original spell. Damn. The wound you inflict with your natural attacks. Nope. Uh, your nat your all your attack now ignore damage reduction. All your natural attacks okay each time you critical hit damage with your range weapon or reduce target to zero hit point you deal your weapon damage to all other enemies in 10 feet radius that's what i was doing right there uh you with your range weapon attack kill crit or reduce target to zero hit point this is better for range for sure dimensional retribution you leave a mystical link with enemy spellcaster that lets you instantly move to them Every time you are targeted by an enemy spell, you gain the ability to teleport to the caster as a move action for the next two rounds. Your range attack are dangerous enough to an enemy forget about melee threats. You hit the target with range over and receive penalty to AC. Oh damn. Domain Zealot. You move closer to the DD and the power. Okay, you can use the abilities of your domain as a swift action. Uh, every time you deal energy damage to a creature, you apply an elemental mark to it. During the next three rounds, you deal. Uh, you deal energy damage to a mark target with different type of energy. The target is dealt additional divine damage. The damage is D6 point rank of your... Okay. Emergency help. Three times a day, you can use a move action teleport to an ally who has less than 30 hit points until the end of the next round. Your first healing spell or ability... Okay, yeah. Enduring spell. Effects of your spell on your ally should last longer than... Uh, that should last longer than an hour, but shorter than 24, now last 24 hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Enforcing Vigor. Every time you damage, uh, every time you damage an ally, they gain plus two mythic bonus attack. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, ever ready. Whenever you make an opportunity attack, you gain a bonus on an attack roll damage roll equal to your mythic rank. The number of opportunity attack you can make each round is increased by two. Exposed vulnerability. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals an additional one d six for two mythic rank. Inspiring, inspiring leader. Your allies win 50 feet bonus equal to your mythic rank It's your initiative, saving throw, and concentration checks. Once per day, when your HP drop low, you become unkillable for two rounds. You become immune to damage and would, uh, that would make you unconscious. Every time you hit a target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. Any ally attacking the target can deal divine damage equal to... Ooh. Limitless rage. You no longer have a limited amount of rage per day. Uh, activating this will grant you magic immunity and dispel any spells on you. What? That's fucking OP as shit! Your charge attack deals divine damage, powerful shadow. Your shadow spells deal more damage. Range shots, 
Rupture Restraints. Three times per day, you can automatically dispel any effect. The bigger they are, you're, you're, you gain a bonus to your attack roll with ranged weapons. Thundering Blows. Once per round, your melee attack, uh, when you're melee, you deal to all enemies. Oh. Unrelenting Assault. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain a stacking bonus. Okay, up to a maximum of plus 10. Um, she's all about defense, though. So I want to, like, give her a lot more defense. Uh, if I type in AC, what the hell does that happen? Hmm. I think we're going to either go with Unrelenting Assault. Every time I make at least one melee attack, I get plus two. So five melee attacks give me a plus ten to damage. That's pretty damn good. Um, Thundering Blow is also pretty good. 2d6 plus 1d6 per two mythic ranks. So every time I miss an attack, only once per round though. Um, I deal 2d6 damage to everything nearby. To enemies? To all enemies, yeah. But honestly, the best thing I can think of right now is magic nullification. Activating this ability grants you magic immunity and dispels any spell effects. Uh, wait, wait. It's a good thing I read that. Dispel any spell effects, even beneficial ones. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, let's go with um, Unrelenting Assault. Yeah, they all have the same thing. Okay, for her, it's shots. For sure. Shot. Leaving shot, distracting shot, and range shots. When you miss uh, an enemy with a ranged weapon, your aim improves. Every successful hit lessens the bonus. Cleaving shot for sure. Too good. Hmm. Yeah, I think unrelenting is assault for you too. Because yeah, it's more damage. That rogue needs more damage. 
for you. Oh, I need to get always a chance to. Um, Archmage Armor. That should help. I mean, fire, right? No, I want to be the one that deals a lot of fire damage, though. Um, you already have... Sonic damage. Yeah, you already deal, like, holy damage. So, you don't need that at all, honestly. Wait, you gain an additional curse, but it gives you no penalties? Yeah, you know what? Let's just get balance healing. Choose mythic. I don't know why I can't choose these.
Interesting. Oh, and then I get the same thing. Okay. Well, I don't want to do this. Like, that seems very sus that I can't. Rules I can't do other things. To be broken. So let's just go like this. We'll save that. I don't trust it. this little shindig, Beth. I did consider it, and I am still considering it. It hasn't even been a week since the last demon was booted out of Canabras, and we really should be in a period of mourning for all the city's fallen. But the people deserve to celebrate, and she deserves to be honored for saving the city and possibly all of Menhev. <laughs> That was one hell of a fight. One hell of a fight calls for one hell of a party. According to the watch reports, there has been no demon activity whatsoever outside Canopolis. I get the feeling the fiends are as shocked by what happened as we are. What happened in the garrison? What you did? It was a miracle. I truly believe that the gods remembered us and decided to intervene. Beth, come on, you agreed. No serious business today. All right, all right, I'm done. No more. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be celebrating a successful attack on the Grey Garrison, our own fortress, and that we'd blow the roof off the place? It's simply unforgivable. While we're on the topic of the roof, there's already a rumor going around that you have been blessed by Iomade herself. And it was her power granted to you that destroyed the garrison's walls and roof. And it turns out the people want a little piece of that blessing for themselves. The townsfolk are gathering chunks of the garrison's rubble as souvenirs and talismans. And I'm sure they'll hit the black market soon enough. Oh, yeah. Here, read on this for me. Or good luck. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a cut on the sales. I know a guy who knows some guys. Nevi! What are you on about now? What do you mean? Do you see many people at this table who've been personally blessed by Ayomade herself? Well, a couple perhaps. Ayomade's blessings are not conveyed through stones, and as public officials, we really shouldn't. Hmm? I feel a little chastened after what you said about public officials. But I oh, myself shit. have acquired a few pieces of stone and also wish to ask our hero to breathe on them for good luck. So, what now? Are you going to toast me out of this fine establishment? Your, your Majesty. Yes, it is I. I made the journey here to deduct the cost of repairing the garrison roof from your salary. We have not been introduced. Galfrey of Mendev. Hmm. Do not move. The queen has graced us with her presence. As you can see, yes, I am here. Your Majesty, we were just... I'll have them arrange. Calm yourself, Commander. I deliberately came here without any fanfare because I did not wish to draw attention away from our honored heroine here. My personal guard and the force I brought with me are standing watch outside the city. I ordered all of your sentries to stand down. They also deserve a break. Every person who tirelessly fought to save Canabras will enjoy themselves today. And my reinforcements will ensure peace and order. We joined our celebration, your majesty. <laughs> Please, don't your majesty me. 
We are in a tavern, not my court in Erosian. Address me as you would any comrade in arms. Concerning the celebration, as you can see, I already invited myself. I couldn't pass up the chance to meet the new heroine all the Crusaders are talking about. And soon, not just Crusaders. We all need to get... We all need to get some rest. Because grand new deeds lie ahead, yes? Your Majesty, my dear cousin. Count, I admit I was surprised to learn that you valiantly joined the ranks of the city's defenders. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I live to please you, my queen. My first thought when Daskari cruelly robbed us of noble Terendelev and half of Canabras's crusaders in one fell swoop was of you, my queen, and of how these events would weigh heavily on you. No one could have foreseen the demon attack, and we have so successfully held the defense here for four heroic crusades. I'm going to drown him in the nearest well this very night. <laughs> I value your dedication and your eloquence. I hope you will continue to aid our soldiers. Not a chance. You know that I am not made for the front lines. Excellent, Bash. But alas, I really must go. Important matters to be getting on with. A new shipment of wine from Kionin and three beautiful creatures of the same provenance. But I will most assuredly come to say my farewells before your army departs on its campaign, which, wherever it may lead you, will undoubtedly be crowned with victory. But you're my holy damager. Please don't leave my party. Then I have nothing to do to damage demons. I shall hold you to that count. And now allow me to devote some time to the heroine of the evening. I did not come here solely to give you this chance to celebrate. But all serious discussions and official announcements can wait until tomorrow. I have big, big plans for all of you. Especially for you. But I want to keep you in suspense for a little while longer, so I shan't say another word. Let us mark this victory. My first toast is to you, the hero of Canabras. Now, what are we drinking? Yes. The fires of Canabras have died down. Now the army's path leads to the walls of Dresden, a fallen citadel that the Crusaders have been trying in vain to reclaim for 70 years. The new piece on the board might give their efforts some added momentum. Rise, warriors. Today is a day of sorrow and pride. Sorrow because we weep for our brothers and sisters who perished in Canobris. Pride because despite demonic treachery, our heroes repelled the attack and saved the city. I, Queen Golfrey of Mendev, declare this day the first day of the Fifth Crusade. And I am glad to introduce the one who will lead the attack on the forces of the Abyss, the hero of Canobris, Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. Your leader from now unto victory or death. And now it's time to rest. Everyone is dismissed. There. The troop review is finished. I'll give you some time to look around the camp, and then I shall expect your presence at headquarters. I guess I'm the commander now.
wherever my legs carry me. And we'll go around the outskirts first. Do we have Earth Elemental digging a trench? Nice. Whoever that is enjoying themselves very much. <laughs> so I'll keep guard myself. Thank you, Windu. 